Hello everyone, I'm Tamara Chaos. The fear of Jehovah is the beginning of knowledge. Fools despise wisdom and instruction. Proverbs 1-7 this Hello everyone, I'm Tamara Chaos. Dear friends, never take revenge. Leave that to the righteous anger of God. For the scriptures say, I will take revenge, I will pay them back, says the Lord. Don't let evil conquer you, but conquer evil by doing good. Romans 12, 19, 21. Hello everyone, I'm Tamara Chaos. Don't be afraid, for I am with you. Don't be discouraged, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will hold you up with my victorious right hand. We have nothing to fear, because we have a big, powerful God on our side. <laughs> Hi. So, I want to read from Psalm 25, 1, 4 through 6, 10, and 14. O oh Lord, I give my life to you. Show me the right path, O oh Lord. Point out the road for me to follow. Remember, O oh Lord, your compassion and unfailing love which you have shown from long ages past. The Lord leads with unfailing love and faithfulness all who keep his covenant and obey his demands. The Lord is a friend to those who fear him. He teaches them his covenant. Here we go. In three, two, one, go! Oh yeah, great race, great race. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at their faces, man. Game faces.
example, I was using an electric hedge trimmer and you know the cord, the cord for the hedge trimmer kept falling out and so periodically as I was trimming, I had to keep plugging it back in. And this reminded me of how we can be if we if we don't connect to God. He your lifetime friend. He always loves. He always trusts. When we commit our lives to God completely, we can inherit the kingdom of God. It says, the Lord is my inheritance. What could be better than inheriting the Lord and his love? What could be better than in inheriting his whole kingdom? There's nothing better. Make allowance for each other's faults and forgive anyone who offends you. Remember, the Lord forgave you, so you too must forgive others. Colossians 3.1 We're all human, and so we're going to do things, people are going to do things to offend other people. They might not intend to, but they will. Emmanuel tells the story of Jesus' life by using all four of the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, as well as the first chapter of the book of Acts and part of 1 Corinthians. This book follows Jesus' earthly life from the very beginning of the Gospel record through his many trials and his confrontations with the religious leaders of the day. This book is not intended to take the place of the Bible but it may help you understand the story of Jesus' life better by giving you a more chronological account of it. This is not, I'm just saying that it's a slow methodical process. And so, you know, what you do is you, you friend somebody and you, you love them and you show compassion to them and you show them the character of God. And it could be that they never do ask you about God, but, you know, but that's how you do it. You can't just badger somebody in a public place and tell them that unless they commit to God, they're going to go to hell. The Lord is for me, so I will have no fear. What can mere people do for me? You see, we can't rely on people like we can the Lord. People will always let us down. But the Lord will always be with you. I will look for triumph at those who hate me. You know, they really don't hate you. What they hate is the Spirit of God living inside of you. And it's not like God is up there with a little notepad. Oh, I, he sinned again, and he's going to ask for forgiveness. I'm keeping track. He doesn't do that. He doesn't need to, obviously, because he's all-knowing. But he doesn't do that because he doesn't want to remember your sins. He doesn't want you to live in sorrow. He wants you to live in joy. Hello, everyone. I have three announcements that I would like to make. First of all, I want to announce that I am in a music competition called You God's Music. And different contestants can submit 
a video of them singing a song that has a special meaning to them. So I posted my music video. And Hello everyone, happy Mad Hatter's Day. Let's talk about bitterness. I have a little demonstration that I would like to show you. Each of these rocks represents grudges. Let's say somebody says something to you that you don't like. People seem to walk all over you, but other people get all of the attention. Somebody has something that you want, that you've always wanted. You see how full that container is? Now let's say you try to give some love. Kindness. Compassion. Support. Can't give much of it, can you? It's too filled with grudges. Look how much more room we have for love and compassion and support of each other. about the blood. You see how different God and Jesus are from other gods? Jesus will wipe away anything that prevents you from meeting him in paradise. Stay strong, stay connected, stay focused. The outcome will be worth it. Thank you. So the other day I was out for a walk and I saw these leaves on the ground and I just thought they were so beautiful. And so I picked them up and I just started thinking about how much leaves are like people. These, all these leaves come from different trees, just like people come from different backgrounds and different religions and stuff like that. But we're all special in our own way and we all have something to offer. Hello my friends, I'm Tamara Chaos. It can be hard to imagine that walking with Jesus is different than walking with the world, but it is.
So... Oh. 